Good morning, YouTube. How's it going today? Things are going pretty good here in Cassville. These guys are wrapping this job up today. Well, they're at least wrapping the walls and the steps up today. I'm hauling all the extra rocks out of here. So anytime we do a job like this, obviously there's a bunch of little rocks left over. So I'm gonna get those out of here and go get a gallon of coolant for the skid loader. Come back up here and hopefully they're getting shit done. And yeah, I'm out of breath. I just, I just walked up that mountainside. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trucking along here and uh, looks like we're going by Tech McClyman's here. Looks like he's doing some power brewing. Let's see if we can scare him with a honk. With a little toot toot. No, he saw me. That looks cold out there brewing. With the winter we had, there's a lot of rocks in people's lawns. It was kind of wet and soft and the ground wasn't froze yet and then we plowed so everybody's yards are a mess this year and uh, it's taken them a lot longer this year than it has the last couple years it's a lot of work something we got to get done every spring before the grass starts growing but yeah we're gonna do the steps today finish the walls do that Look pretty good Tell you this, but uh, it's warm in here. Yeah, he's the boss can't just come at the end of the job and say he can sit. No, that ain't gonna work. I'm just the uh, I don't know what he said. He likes these. No, that's weather. a weird fetish to have, but I get it. No good. Cold you know weather that. while you get to sit that nice. <laughs> things just fly right along. It's not that they're lazy. It's not. It's the thought process and the thinking. I think they think too much. Just got to get in there and get it done. Especially with this. There's no precise way. We don't know which rock's going where. We don't know which step's going where. You just got to keep trying. Get it done. Tap that one time and it'll be good. Don't use that because you'll end up breaking it. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up Welcome to the morning circus here Got uh, a few extra guys coming up here. We're gonna finish this job today, 100% done. Has to be, because it's gonna snow tonight. Right now they're saying four to eight inches of snow, which does not make me happy. So I've got two guys staying in the shop today, putting all the plows back on. They're gonna put one of the salters in. Raise the torsion bars on them, and then we gotta get the brackets. I hold the plow to the truck, put the controllers in them, and then we'll hook the plows up. It's a fairly simple process. I 
And then he said when we start bringing trucks in with plows, he wants them backed up to this mower. working here going to start some equipment it's like 26 degrees so we'll see how old Johnny Deer starts blah, 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 blah. oh yeah oh she sounds spicy that one actually does start all the time Excavator not so exciting. Got all that emissions crap. That's how diesels were made back in my day. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, did you see that little puff of smoke? I saw it. Whew. Oh yeah. Now that 7.3, I know she'd smoke if we started her today. That's for damn sure. Oh, the red box is working pretty good. We can throw our mats right in there too for transport. That'll be kind of nice. Those mats are usually a pain in the ass. I'll go show you what I got everybody doing. I normally don't like four or five guys on a job because then there's always one guy standing or two guys standing and it drives me nuts. But if I stay here, they will fly through this and everything will get done fast. If I leave, two or three guys will be working, two guys will be standing watching. Trust me, I know been doing this for years got everything we need we got some seed got some straw mat we got some power brooms to clean up the gravel should be easy day finish this and in 24 hours we should be plowing snow all right i got sean and chris laying down fabric here behind the walls over top of the clean stone and i got tech bringing in some dirt to put in there basically just some fill dirt so we're gonna put dirt in here and then we're gonna put mulch in here she does not want weed fabric it's all gonna be mulch bed and full of plants obviously not we're not putting the plants in today and then i got hunter up there throwing rocks around that's what he's been doing for the last two weeks so you know and then she wants this mess cleaned up we will seed this and straw mat it her yard get it back up to par there now, i wish we could have had this all in one video but the truth of the matter is we didn't have content for you guys for like a month so we were kind of behind on videos so moving forward our goal is to have a job start to finish in every video now i don't know what the f hunter's doing bringing these rocks down here what are What are you doing with this? One of these are going to be good. I don't know which one. So apparently Hunter just wants to sit in the mini excavator all day. So we need one little rock to keep the mulch from rolling out. And he's going to carry three of them down there. I don't know. I feel like a f***ing tape measure. You could measure one out and have the mini loader carry it down there and be done. I don't know. I feel like he sometimes overthinks things and gets a little scatterbrain, which I do too. But uh, I don't know. Whatever. Well, we might as well start the old 7.3 up. So we're going to have to haul out a couple loads of fill yet. So let's see how this baby girl starts today. Yeah, I don't know. We've never really had to plug it in. It actually starts pretty well. But yeah, it's uh, 26 degrees. Usually I like to hold it to the floor. You know, get her some fuel. They just don't make them like they used to, boys. God damn. 28 year old workhorse, boys. She just wants to work. Come down, slow papa. There ain't no way out. Upside head and down. Blacked out and hit the ground. Then it battle cold dead. Hit a whole town. Alright, 
we've been here two hours. I'll show you guys what we got done. Pretty much got the dirt backfilled in the wall. It was kind of a pain in the ass. We had to use wheelbarrows. Didn't have much of a choice. Now these guys are cutting back the fabric, cleaning up this dirt. And then we're gonna put mulch in here. Uh, she's gonna have this all full of plants. So that's why we're trying to get as much dirt in here as possible. So this should work out good once we get this all mulched. And then in another month when the weather's nicer, she can fill this up with a bunch of plants. And then in two months after that, it'll look nice and pretty in here. Any of those rocks that are moving when you're stepping on them too, make sure we fix that. I know a couple of them down there were moving around a little bit. Yep, all this is gonna be mulch. She's gonna have a bunch of plants in here, guarantee it. That PVC pipe is for the garden hose. Feed that uh, waterfall down there. I got out of the mini loader, so Hunter jumps right in it. I don't know what for, what he's doing, but equipment operator, you know. All right, we should be good here. Let's keep at her. Well, I'll get my dump truck hooked back up. Well, those guys are messing around with that. This thing sure is handy. Big old Kentworth. Driving a mini loader up here to talk to me. All right. Uh, yeah. You want to get dirt? I have to put some good dirt in there. Very little. Dirt. I want that for the lawn. I mean, you can use two or three buckets. That's about all they need in there, anyways. Okay. So. But everything over by the scab stops all good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything over there. It's just that round spot. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm really glad we got that mini loader. That way he can drive it up here, you know, to ask me questions. It's pretty rough, you know. All right, let's get this mini excavator loaded up. All right, that was a little spicy loading that. The gap between that tube and that needs to be like three inches closer. And this mini does not like lifting this tub that far out with, I don't know, there's probably a thousand pounds in there now. It doesn't like lifting it with weight in there, so we're going to have to figure that out. This is the first time loading it on a trailer like this. I could push it ahead more, but then I'm worried when I turn the truck, it's going to hit that. So we'll figure it out. Just something new. We've never really had to transport it. And I don't really have enough trailers up here to haul everything back. So I wanted to get it on there. I'm gonna guess Hunter's in the mini loader and the other three guys are probably working on the uh, dirt beds, mulch beds, whatever you wanna call it. Hunter in the mini loader, all right. He's going to do some physical labor this year. I don't know if he knows that or not, but it's not just gonna be drive mini loader and drive mini excavator all year. He literally just took a chain down there with the mini excavator, with the mini loader. So let's go have a chat with him. That bush coming out, right? Yeah. Green one goes around the bush. Yeah, that looks good, Sean. Cut this fabric off there. I think we'll probably call that pretty good. That up there is probably good for now, Tech. Cut this fabric. Make sure all these rocks are swept off good. And then probably put the rakes and shovels away. And we'll get out the pitchforks. Make sure our wheelbarrows don't have any dirt in them. We'll have to wheelbarrow some of the mulch, but. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Ooh. Good thing we got a guy that can operate that mini loader. We never would have got that big sucker out of there. Oh, I just ripped my pants. I don't really care. Why don't you get up there and start cleaning that shit out? That's a fucking mess. I'm gonna have Hunter go in there and straighten all that up. Yep, and then one of you guys can come down here and pick up all this junk and I'm gonna till this all up 
and we're gonna seed this. So any of this junk down here. Think I got me a way out. Here they come to condemn. They're bought and sold, man. All I got to hear now. One shot to black it out. guys that's gonna wrap it up for episode 44 thanks for watching uh, we're definitely working on making these videos better i hired brandy she's gonna be our full-time camera girl we got derek in the office full-time now editing these videos things are gonna start going a lot better here our plan is to start making more and better content for you guys and we appreciate every one of you out there thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one